What's up, y'all? Today, we're going to talk about Queen Cheryl and King Karan. You know, that couple, they got the 37-year age gap. Guy in his, like, 20s, woman in her 60s. Woman got, like, seven grandkids. I'm waiting this time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh, God. Bye-bye, Tifa. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> No teeth. <laughs> Not only that, they're like internet porn stars. <laughs> Queen Cheryl, who was on freaking, I think it was Bory or the Wilco show like years ago. That. <laughs> They've been on a couple of uh, shows. They've done a couple of interviews in regards to like their relationship. Like, okay, we know who they are, right? Recently, they dropped the video um, declaring that they were going to be starting a women's and children's shelter. They were standing in front of this building in Rome, Georgia, where they were saying like, this is where it's gonna happen. This is where the dream is gonna come true. We're gonna have, you know, this amount of rooms. We're gonna have a cafeteria. We're gonna have, you know, classrooms. We're at the women's shelter that we got. That's in Adairsville, Georgia. We are in the process of restoring it and bringing it back to life so we can bring something back to the community. This is something we're very passionate about. So we're gonna take y'all and get y'all into what we have planned. This is the future Soar House. The Soar House will be a women and children's shelter located in Adairsville, Georgia. This is a 22,000 square foot facility. This facility will include 40 well-lit rooms, a free daycare, state-of-the-art uh, cafeteria, classrooms for GED, prep, trade school classes, and other business classes. All donations are accepted and appreciated. Watching that video, you know, it makes a lot of people say, oh my gosh, like this is respectable. Like, I love that. And Queen Cheryl has shared, you know, her past that, you know, she was a domestic violence survivor. And so it just would make sense for her to have this type of passion, you know, to help women in need, children in need. Like that's, it's beautiful, right? But now we have this creator coming out saying, It is all bullshit. It is all a lie. These two right here, there's a video circulating with this in the background, this place where they are referring to and saying they have now obtained and is the future Thor house. But the problem is that these people have absolutely no right to this place. They have no right to even be there, but they are accepting donations for this facility. They did not purchase this property. They have no lease. They have never been under contract for it. While the owner of this property does believe that that would be beneficial, they do not feel that these people are the right people to do this. Also states here, they have been asked repeatedly to take down the video. So any money that they are soliciting is not going towards this place. Allegedly, the owner of this building that they were standing in front of is saying that they have no right to this building. They have no right to the property. They have not been in contact with them. And that, yeah, it's just bullshit. Like, it's not happening. Now, the owner of this building is saying that, yes, it, you know, having a women's shelter, you know, the, the passion for it, the, the vision, it's all beautiful. It's all possible but these aren't the right people for the project in that video also they mentioned how they are taking donations and you know taking women's clothes and they need volunteers and just all types of stuff to help out honestly where are we sending this stuff to and you know you're taking donations but are you really using these donations to do something because you guys may seem like you guys own this place already and that you guys were going to fix it up it's one thing to already have ownership of something and to be standing in front of it but they were literally standing in front of a fucking building that they don't even own so many people are like oh my gosh you're doing god's work you're doing an amazing job but then turns out it's like wait a minute hold up pause so now it appears that King Karan and Queen Shara are trying to save their asses by making a response video. Hello. Hello. So we did not purchase that property in Adairsville, Georgia. There was a lot of things going wrong with the property. There was a lady there who harassed us completely on the internet that is homeless, that lives there in a barn. And she harassed us because we said she would have to get rid of her horses because they're malnourished. That's not something you can have on uh, any type of you, you can't do that. And she got mad that we told her that. 
So this lady named Charlie, because she put herself out there, I don't care. You really are trying to violate us because we have a better vision and dream to help others. We're still going to do this home at women and children's shelter. And the best part about this, I'm doing it in my own hometown. It's not going to be in another town first. And this is not going to be the only store house because we're opening in many different states. Another thing, we never said we owned the store house. We teamed up with sore kids to advocate for sore house. We've been going places, looking for sponsors. We've been doing a lot behind the scenes. And y'all don't know that because we haven't gave y'all an update because we've been so busy. But since y'all need one so badly, we're here. We're still gonna do the sore house. We're gonna advocate for it because that's something we feel passionate about. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In this video here, they say, you know, we changed our mind. We're not buying this this land. We're not buying this building. You know, there's like a homeless person that lives on that land. And this is it's just like really getting kind of crazy. It's like, did you guys come up with this story? Or like, it sounds like they're trying to save their assets at the end of the day because you guys got caught for lying by sitting there saying, you know, we never say that we owned the building. We never say that this property was ours, but you guys were literally standing on somebody else's property talking about this is where the vision is gonna happen. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. I'm kind of confused about that. I don't know, I don't know. If you didn't own it, why the fuck are you talking about y'all gonna fix it up and y'all gonna do this and do that with it? They're also saying, you know, we're actually doing it elsewhere. We're, we found a place in my own hometown. And this is where we're going to be fixing it up. And we're going to do exactly what we said. And it's going to be so much better. And it's just like, man, give them people their motherfucking money back. I think they are some frauds. I think they are some scammers. You got the vision. You got the vision. Be honest with people. We want to buy a place don't go standing in front of the fucking place on 59th and something and say this is where it's happening y'all it's like don't do that because it's like now you guys look like yeah y'all lied to a whole bunch of motherfucking people and a whole bunch of people are very vulnerable and they fail for the shit and sent y'all money so i really do hope that they use whatever they've received so far to actually make something shake okay i hope that y'all actually find the motherfucking building to actually make this shit happen, okay? Because standing in front of a building and saying it's 22,000, you know, square feet, da da da, it's so much space, so many rooms, and this is what we're gonna do with it. It's just like, that was very fucking delusional looking. Like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. And then also, guys, you know, with them saying that, oh, we're having a baby, this is just to add on to. So they have a surrogate, but now the surrogate is like in jail. And, you know, it's just like, is this couple like putting up a show or fucking act? Of, what is going on? Like, this is getting crazy. They got their surrogate off of the street and. It's just like this couple just seems all over the place. I don't know. Anyways, thumbs up this video and drop a comment down below. Tell me what your theories are. Tell me what you're thinking, okay? And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Because if you ain't subscribed yet and you made this far to the end of the video, I'm kind of disappointed in you. Subscribe and turn on that post notifications bell if you want to know when I drop. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. See you later.